Uh, there's some trouble brewing on Hawaii's Kilauea volcano once again. The USGS, the United States Geological Survey, they've issued a new orange alert warning residents and visitors that lava flows are increasing there. It says another fountaining episode could come at any moment. Hawaii. 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 This is what we know today. Within just a few hours, three extraordinary natural events unfolded. In Hawaii, Kilauea transitioned into a rare triple fountaining eruption. Shortly after, satellites detected a powerful M8-class solar flare with plasma directed toward Earth. Then, not long after that, Alaska was shaken by a magnitude 7.0 earthquake near the Canadian border. In this broadcast, we lay out the sequence of events, analyze the data, and examine what it all means, both individually and together. Is this simply a remarkable coincidence, or are we seeing a pattern that deserves closer attention? Stay with us as we break down the facts. Chapter 1. The Triple Fountain, Kilauea's Spectacular Eruption. Here is how the event unfolded. In the early hours of December 6, 2025, at approximately 845 HST, Activity escalated rapidly within Kilauea's Halemauma'u Crater, the volcanic core of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. What followed was not a routine eruption, but a rare and visually striking phenomenon, a triple fountaining event. Within minutes, multiple new vents opened inside the crater. Three lava fountains began erupting simultaneously, each jetting molten rock hundreds of feet into the air. Live monitoring feeds captured the moment as the fountains competed for height, illuminating the crater through the early morning haze. The intensity of the eruption was such that one of the heat-resistant monitoring cameras failed, overwhelmed by extreme temperatures and radiant energy. Instrument data confirmed what observers were seeing. Ground tilt meters recorded sharp pressure changes within the magma system, rapid inflation followed by an abrupt release as magma surged upward. Volcanologists at the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory noted a clear and sudden drop in tilt values a classic signature indicating that the magma chamber had released a significant amount of built-up pressure. This type of eruption is rare. Triple fountaining occurs when multiple vents tap directly into a highly pressurized magma reservoir, allowing molten rock and volcanic gases to escape with immense force. During this event, lava fountains reached heights exceeding 250 feet, depositing fresh basalt across the crater floor and building new volcanic features that may remain visible for years. Gas emissions also spiked sharply. Sulfur dioxide output rose to extreme levels, with emissions potentially exceeding 20,000 tons per day at peak activity. The resulting volcanic smog, known as VOG, spread across surrounding areas, posing health risks to residents and prompting safety restrictions within the park. Authorities expanded exclusion zones as molten spatter and airborne particles created hazardous conditions downwind. Seismic activity increased in parallel. Sensitive instruments detected strong harmonic tremor, a continuous, low-frequency vibration caused by magma moving through underground conduits. These signals intensified alongside the eruption, providing clear confirmation that the volcano's internal system was highly active and rapidly evolving. While Kilauea commanded attention on the ground, scientists were already monitoring unusual developments elsewhere. At the same time this eruption reached its peak, Activity was building far above Earth's surface and deep beneath the Pacific Plate, setting the stage for a sequence of events that would soon extend well beyond Hawaii. Chapter 2 Solar Fury, the M8 Flare and a Blast Straight to Earth Attention now shifts from Earth to the Sun. During the early Pacific hours of December 6, 2025, solar observatories detected a powerful M8-class solar flare erupting from active sunspot region AR4299. Data from NOAA's GOES-19 satellites confirmed a rapid surge in X-ray emissions. M-class flares are considered strong solar events, and an M8 sits just below the most extreme X-class category. When eruptions of this magnitude occur, they release enormous amounts of electromagnetic energy. Within minutes, less than nine, High-energy photons and X-rays traveled the 93 million miles to Earth, impacting the planet's upper atmosphere and ionosphere. The flare was Earth-facing, significantly increasing its potential impact. Space weather monitoring agencies reported immediate effects, including heightened risk of radio signal degradation, satellite interference, and increased radiation exposure at high altitudes. 
Such events are also capable of triggering widespread auroral activity, and in more severe cases, stressing electrical infrastructure. Historical precedents, including the 1989 geomagnetic storm that caused a major power outage in Canada, illustrate the potential consequences of strong solar activity. Further analysis confirmed that the flare was accompanied by a coronal mass ejection, a massive cloud of magnetized plasma expelled from the sun and directed toward Earth. In response, space weather alerts were issued globally. Airlines operating polar routes reviewed communication procedures, satellite operators monitored systems for anomalies, and scientists tracked the CME's projected arrival. Observations also identified a fast-moving solar surface disturbance, known as a Morton wave, propagating across the sun at extraordinary speeds. This wave signaled a large-scale restructuring of the solar corona and reinforced concerns about the strength of the outbound plasma cloud. At Earth, the magnetosphere began to absorb the incoming energy. The ionosphere showed signs of increased excitation, raising the likelihood of temporary radio blackouts on the sunlit side of the planet. Aviation, maritime communications, and amateur radio operations were placed on alert for potential signal disruptions. Notably, this event did not occur in isolation. Space weather records show that the M8 flare followed a series of powerful solar eruptions within a short time frame, including X1.7 and X1.1 flares in the preceding 38 hours. The clustering of high-energy solar activity suggested a period of heightened instability on the Sun. As solar energy continued to interact with Earth's magnetic environment, conditions were already evolving toward the next phase of this unfolding sequence. Chapter 3 Alaska Shakes the magnitude 7 earthquake. The final event in this sequence unfolded rapidly. At 2041 UTC on December 6, 2025, a magnitude 7.0 earthquake struck eastern Alaska near the Yukon border. The quake was detected immediately by the U.S. Geological Survey, triggering automated alerts as seismic stations across the region recorded strong ground motion consistent with a major tectonic event. The timing is notable. Just minutes earlier, at approximately 2039 UTC, radiation from the M8-class solar flare had reached Earth, impacting the upper atmosphere over the Pacific Basin, including Alaska. Two minutes later, the Alaskan crust ruptured. Residents across the region reported shaking strong enough to rattle buildings, knock items from shelves, and send snow sliding from nearby slopes. Hundreds of, did you feel it, reports were submitted within minutes particularly from communities such as Tok, where the quake was widely felt. Aftershocks followed quickly. Seismic networks recorded additional tremors measuring magnitude 5.6 and 5.3, a typical pattern following an earthquake of this size. The affected area lies within the Pacific Ring of Fire, where the Pacific Plate interacts with the North American Plate along a complex and highly active boundary. While Alaska experiences frequent seismic activity, a magnitude 7.0 event represents a significant release of accumulated tectonic stress. Regional context adds another layer. In the 38 hours preceding the Alaskan earthquake, several moderate to strong earthquakes occurred off the coast of Japan. While such events are not uncommon in subduction zones, their close spacing in time contributes to a broader pattern of elevated global seismic activity during this period. From a geological perspective, the Alaskan earthquake aligns with well-understood mechanisms. Dense oceanic crust continues to descend beneath the continent, building stress along fault systems until it is released suddenly. This process unfolds over thousands of years and does not require external triggers. However, the precise timing, closely overlapping with heightened solar activity and volcanic unrest elsewhere, has drawn attention due to its rarity. No direct causal link has been established between solar events and earthquakes. Nevertheless, the coincidence of a rare volcanic eruption in Hawaii, an intense solar flare, and a major Alaskan earthquake occurring within the same narrow time window prompted widespread public and scientific interest. Across North America and the Pacific region, the convergence of these events became a focal point of discussion. Three powerful natural processes unfolding within hours, aligned along the same daylight-facing portion of the planet. Chapter 4. Synchronicity or Science searching for the pattern. This is where broader questions emerge. A rare triple volcanic eruption, a powerful solar flare, and a major earthquake, each significant on its own. 
occurred within hours of one another, all on the same sun-facing side of the planet. Throughout history, clusters of major natural events like this have prompted careful scientific review, as well as public speculation about possible connections. From a space weather perspective, the effects of an M8-class solar flare are well understood. Such events release intense bursts of X-rays, ultraviolet radiation, and high-energy particles that rapidly energize Earth's upper atmosphere. The most immediate impacts are technological, disruptions to high-frequency radio communications, increased satellite risk, and heightened radiation exposure at high altitudes. These effects are measurable, repeatable, and well-documented. The more speculative question is whether intense solar activity could have any influence on geological systems already under stress. Most geophysicists urge caution. There is no established, consistently proven mechanism linking solar flares directly to earthquakes or volcanic eruptions. However, researchers also note that fault systems in magma reservoirs often exist close to critical thresholds. In theory, only a very small additional stress, far less than 1%, can be enough to trigger a release when conditions are already primed. Whether solar-induced electromagnetic or atmospheric effects could contribute to such triggering remains an open but unproven area of inquiry. Some studies have suggested statistical correlations between periods of heightened solar activity and increased seismic or volcanic events. These findings remain controversial. While patterns of apparent clustering have been reported, the evidence has not reached the level required to establish causation. As a result, these ideas remain on the margins of mainstream geophysics, subject to continued scrutiny and debate. At Kilauea, scientists are focusing on the volcanic data itself. The triple fountaining event marked the 38th eruptive cycle documented since early 2025, though none matched this event in intensity or timing. Tilt meters recorded a sharp and well-defined pressure drop within the caldera as magma vented rapidly to the surface adding a valuable data point to an expanding record of the volcano's evolving behavior. A wider geological comparison highlights the contrast. Hawaii sits above a mantle hotspot, far from plate boundaries, where magma rises steadily through the Pacific plate. Alaska, by contrast, lies along a major subduction zone, where immense tectonic plates converge and stress accumulates over centuries. The mechanisms are fundamentally different. Yet during this narrow window of time, both systems released energy almost simultaneously, under the same solar exposure. Clustering itself is not unusual. Volcanic eruptions are known to occur in bursts following long, quiet periods. What stands out in this case is the convergence of three distinct systems, within a single news cycle and along the same illuminated hemisphere of Earth. Scientists will continue to study this interval in detail, not as evidence of a confirmed causal chain, but as a reminder of how complex and interconnected Earth's natural systems can appear. For now, the data are being collected, compared, and archived, while researchers remain cautious, open to new insights, but guided by evidence rather than coincidence. Chapter 5. Down to the Bedrock, the Geology Beneath the Drama. Amid the intensity of these overlapping events, it is important to focus on the fundamental processes driving them. The Alaskan earthquake, despite its striking timing, is best explained by long-established geological forces. Along Alaska's southern margin, the Pacific Plate continues to descend beneath the North American Plate in a process known as subduction. This slow but relentless motion builds enormous stress over time, which is periodically released through powerful earthquakes. It is this mechanism that makes Alaska one of the most seismically active regions on Earth. The scale of these forces is immense, Entire sections of oceanic crust are forced deep into the mantle, where they fracture, heat up, and eventually release stored energy in sudden seismic ruptures. These events can transmit vibrations across vast distances. In some cases, subduction contributes to mountain building. In others, it helps generate magma that feeds Alaska's long chain of Aleutian volcanoes. Kilauea operates under a very different geological system. Rather than plate boundaries, it is driven by a mantle hotspot, a plume of hot material rising from deep within the earth beneath the Pacific Plate. This continuous supply of magma fuels frequent eruptions and allows events like triple fountaining to rapidly reshape the crater floor, build new cones, and redirect magma pathways beneath the island. What these systems share is pressure. Beneath Kilauea, magma accumulates and swells until it finds a path to the surface. Along Alaska's faults, tectonic plates grind against one another until friction is overcome. 
These processes are constant, though their visible expressions are often sudden and dramatic. Long-term monitoring shows that Kilauea has been undergoing gradual inflation since around 2020. Despite frequent eruptions, pressure within the deeper magma system has not been fully released. As a result, scientists anticipate continued eruptive cycles and remain alert to the possibility of larger or more complex events as trends evolve. Following major earthquakes, researchers also examine potential secondary effects. These include changes in volcanic gas emissions, shifts in magma movement, and subtle seismic responses elsewhere in the mantle. In rare cases, large earthquakes have been associated with disturbances on the opposite side of the planet, a phenomenon known as antipodal triggering, though such connections are difficult to verify and remain uncommon. Taken together, these observations underscore the complexity of Earth's dynamic systems. The recent convergence of volcanic activity serves not just as headline news, but as valuable case studies, moments that deepen scientific understanding of how a restless planet and an active sun continuously shape conditions on Earth. Chapter 6. The Aftermath and What Comes Next As the immediate effects begin to settle, attention now turns to what may follow. First, the solar aftermath. The coronal mass ejection associated with the M8-class flare remains in transit toward Earth. Space weather agencies forecast an elevated risk of geomagnetic storm conditions upon its arrival. Enhanced auroral activity is expected at high latitudes and may extend into lower, more temperate regions. Satellite operators, electrical grid managers, and communication services are actively monitoring systems for potential disruptions. Second, the seismic outlook. Aftershocks from the Alaska earthquake are continuing, as expected following an event of this magnitude. While most aftershocks gradually decrease in frequency and strength, seismic networks remain on alert for any signs of escalation. Combined with recent earthquake activity off the coast of Japan and ongoing tectonic stress around the Pacific Rim, conditions across the Ring of Fire are being closely observed. Third, volcanic activity at Kilauea remains ongoing. The current eruptive cycle, its 38th since early 2025, has not necessarily concluded. Events involving multiple vents and significant pressure release can persist for hours or evolve further, including the opening of new fissures or changes within the caldera. Authorities continue to advise caution, as volcanic conditions can change rapidly and without warning. Beyond the immediate forecasts, this sequence has renewed scientific interest. The close timing of volcanic activity and seismic events highlights the complexity of Earth's interacting systems. While clear causal links remain unproven, each convergence provides valuable data and an opportunity to refine understanding of how planetary and solar processes unfold together. Looking ahead, additional solar activity remains possible as sunspot region AR4299 continues to evolve. Tectonic forces along the Pacific plate will persist, slowly accumulating stress. And Kilauea, as history consistently shows, will erupt again when pressure within its magma system once more reaches a critical threshold. These moments are reminders that the planet is not static. Volcanic systems continue to release pressure, tectonic plates remain in constant motion, and solar activity shapes the space environment surrounding Earth. Most of the time, these processes unfold independently and quietly. Occasionally, they align within a narrow window, drawing attention to the scale and complexity of the forces at work. As monitoring continues and data from this interval are analyzed, scientists will add these events to a growing record that helps refine our understanding of planetary behavior. Not as proof of a single cause, but as another chapter in the ongoing story of a restless Earth beneath an active sun. The systems involved remain in motion. More eruptions will come, more earthquakes will follow, and solar activity will continue to shape conditions far beyond our atmosphere. For now, this sequence stands as a moment when multiple natural forces briefly shared the spotlight, offering both perspective and insight into the ever-changing world we inhabit.